The name of this video is How to Clean a Stall. And I am going to tell you this is one dirty stall. You have to clean them every day because every day they look like this. This is not something I would ordinarily want to show. But that's how they look every day. And sometimes even worse. Alright? So the first thing you have to do is you have to take out the wet spot. Alright? And the way you know it's the wet spot is wherever you see it dark, you take up the dark spot. By the way, the reason the horse isn't exiting is because you will see the wheelbarrow is blocking the door. And I'll bring it in even a little bit tighter to block him even more. So, first you isolate your wet spot. Can you push over a little bit? movements like that. And these aren't big curly fluffy shavings. It's harder to do it with fluffier shavings and it's really hard to do it with straw which is a preference for people who have brood mares when they're breeding. It's really hard. Uh, so the finer it is the easier it is to clean. But then sometimes if it's too fine you have respiratory issues. So You've got to get just the right comfort level of shavings for your horses and convenience level for you. Not so fine that it's a breathing hazard, but if it can be coarse enough so, um, so that it doesn't, um, but fine enough so that it goes through the pitch more easily. 
when you find such a supply, stick with it. All right, so now I believe I've got all the solids out that are visible to see. So the next thing I do is I pull down the sides because surely some additional manure will turn up on the sides. And when this additional manure turns up on the sides, I can just cast that up. I want to do it, of course there's no such thing as perfect, but I want to do it as close to perfectly as I can so that I don't waste it. I want to make it comfortable for my horse. If you had Gabriel, you would want to make it comfortable for him too. Of course you would. He's so good. Oh, push over, Gabriel. Thank you. And as I'm pulling it away, I'm seeing if there's any remainder in there. And now that I've got it all down there, that didn't take me very long. That wasn't even an edit. Um, I can now safely add a bag of shavings to this. I can put a new bag on top of it since I've got all the old stuff out. Okay, so now I'm going to dump a bag of shavings in here. Gabriel heard me replay the camera when he walked out the door. He found that concerning. But anyway, um, Yep. Some people take a lot of time to the shaving, and I'm of the opinion that a horse is pretty capable of spreading it out themselves. I don't think it needs to be elaborate. Um, so anyway, there's the new shaving in the clean stall. This would be the time to clean the water bucket, give them a scrub if you use a scrub brush. I myself prefer a towel, I give them a wipe, and then of course refill them right to the broom. And um, I want to mention my shavings come in plastic, so you can store them outside. I also have to put a little tarp over them, but they're not the same as a food stuff, so you don't have to be quite as careful with shaving storage as you would with grain or hay storage because they're not something that the horse eats. But anyway, that's how to clean, clean a stall.